What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Hype Fan Eagle, representing the Philadelphia Eagles by way of New Jersey. You already know, man. Shout out to the people that's viewing this video, whether religiously or in passing. You already know, man. Can I get a bird call for real, for real? You know, all right, so let's talk about the 2022 NFL draft real quick before I get into all the, uh, the news and excitement and everything like that. So, you know, going into the draft, I was real nervous. You know, I got on the Twitter spaces, me and my guys, you know what I'm saying? We was actually talking on the Twitter spaces. And then, you know, I'm just going to make long story short, you know what I'm saying? And then the first round pick come a defensive end, second round pick come defensive end, third round pick, you know, they, they started taking Sauce Gardner, who I thought we was going to end up getting. Uh, uh, Stingley, who I thought we was going to end up getting from out of uh, LSU. I really thought we was going to end up getting either Stingley or Sauce. And then, next thing you know, later on down the board, Chris Olove got, got took in. I'm like, okay. And then uh, Jamison Williams got took in. And then the other guy from Ohio State got took in. I'm like, wow, yo. Like, who Like who we really left with? So then we get the the we get the DT out of out of uh Georgia. We get the DT out of Georgia. His name was on top of my head, but right now I don't know why. I just had his name right here, but I just can't remember for some reason. But y'all know who I'm talking about, number 99 from Georgia. I just had his name and I just I just drew a blank for some reason. So we end up getting him. And I like that pick. I like that pick because, you know, like he can actually learn under Fletcher Cox. He's a bulldozer. He's an animal. He's a problem. I like that. The defensive line is stacked. So I don't believe that we're going to be second to last in sacks anymore. No, I do not believe we're going to be second to last in sacks no more. My man's is a problem. All right? I don't know why I can't remember his name right now. Like, if y'all let me, just put his name in the comments. I don't know why I can't remember his name right now. I, like, I just had it in my, in my noggin. I don't know why I can't remember his name. But anyways, so, you know, we actually traded up twice. You know, no, we traded up once and we traded the 18th pick. So we end up getting, okay, we traded, we traded our, um, our 15th pick. We, we went to number 13. We moved up to number 13. I thought we was going to be able to get, uh, uh, Jamison Williams, but I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Detroit ended up getting Jamison Williams. So then we end up getting the guy from, uh, Georgia. Georgia Bulldogs, number 99. I don't know why I can't remember his name right now. I'm so sorry, y'all. And then we end up trading, um, we end up trading a third round pick to the to, to, to Tennessee. And we end up getting AJ Brown. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of shocked me because we all on Twitter spaces. All I heard was, yo, we got AJ Brown. I'm like, hold up, what? We got AJ Brown? Get out of here. So I started looking on Twitter. Next thing you know, I, I look. Like, yo, we got A.J. Brown. Then y'all got to remember, Jalen Hurts actually posted a picture of him and A.J. Brown working. So that was, that was, that wasn't for nothing. That picture was not for nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Listen, I'm glad we got A.J. Brown. We got an experienced wide receiver on top of Zach Pascal, on top of Smitty. There should be no excuses for Jalen Hurts. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding with Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I am. Put it like this. There, there's room for error because, of course, he's still going to make mistakes. I'm not expecting that man to have zero picks. I'm not expecting that man to not get sacked. Of course, he's going to have a pick. Of course, he's going to have interceptions. Of course, he's going to get uh, sacked. But what I am expecting from him is improvement in his throwing, improvement in his uh, anticipation skills, and improvement with just stepping up in the pocket. You feel what I'm saying? I am expecting him to improve, especially when you got these caliber wide receivers. There should be no excuses. Should be no excuses. We are very good at the running back position. I don't know really too much about Jordan Howard. I don't know if we're going to resign him or, or um, is he a free agent. I'm not too sure about that. Hopefully, we do resign him so that way we can still have that three-headed monster, which is Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, and Jordan, uh, Jordan Howard. Hopefully, we can use Boston Scott, Jordan Howard uh, way more than we did. And Kenneth Gainwell, we can actually use him. In the backfield a couple of times, also uh, play, uh, catching passes. So, uh, listen, we are really stacked on the offensive side. The defensive line stacked. Where it comes to me, like we, we okay, we, so we got our linebackers right, and this is this is this is going to be good for Hassan Reddick. You feel what I'm saying? I, f I feel like we I feel like we're going to use Hassan Reddick the way we should use him. You know what I'm saying? And then we got uh, Kaiser White. So. 
we still need help on the back end, though. I'm not too worried about the. I'm not too worried about the defensive front. We still need help on the back end. We still have a cornerback we need to drive, and we still got a safety. Actually, if I'm them during the next round, during round two, round three, I'm actually either going to get another offensive lineman. Of course, of course, of course, they're going to get another offensive lineman. But before I get an O line, before I get an offensive lineman, I'm definitely going to get either a cornerback, a safety, and a linebacker. You got to get those. We still got question marks, cornerback, safety, linebacker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, preferably preferably the the, uh, the cornerback and the safety. You feel what I'm saying? Of course we got Epps. Of course we got Epps. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. Of course we got Epps. But I still want a cornerback and a safety. You know, who's going to play the other corner? You know, you know what I'm saying? Who, who's going to play the other corner? So we need to go cornerback safety, man. I'm 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 happy we end up getting AJ Brown. We got another aggressive wide receiver. Now last year he had problems when it came to catching the ball. You know he had a lot of major drop balls, but he's still a dog though. He's still a dog. I I like him. He's an aggressive. He's a a a a a, a run after catch. You know what I'm saying? He's a for sure catcher. Even though he had a lot of, you know, major drop passes last year, I still like A.J. Brown. We got an experienced wide receiver. Traylon Burks would have been good for us too. But, but but you know, I would rather have that experienced dog wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? The only thing with uh, uh, A.J. Brown is he could be very selfish. You know, that, that was reports. That was reported. That was, uh, sorry, y'all for getting tongue twisted. That was definitely reported coming out of Tennessee that he uh, he could be a little bit selfish, um, you know. Uh, it could be you know it could be all about him. So hopefully he don't bring that to Philly. Hopefully he know the goals and and, and what we trying to accomplish here. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he know that. But other than that, man, I'm proud. I'm happy. For a minute we was on the Twitter spaces sweating. We ain't know what we ain't know what was going to happen. Like we ain't know who we was going to get. Worst case scenario, we was like, ah, uh, okay, we get Trey Bur uh Traylon Burks, then we happy with that. But we got AJ Brown. I'm happy. Also, to report some other news, I don't know if y'all know this, but uh Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown got traded to uh, to the uh Arizona Cardinals. And I know, I know Lamar Jackson is, is is heated right now. I know he's heated right now. I know he's feeling it right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, and yo, to be honest, this draft didn't go the way that I thought it would go. You know what I'm saying? I thought we was going to end up getting Thibodeau, but Thibodeau got selected early. He went to the Giants. You know what I'm saying? The Jets ain't playing. The, the, the Jets done. Yo, just go just go throughout the draft board, man. The, the Jets ain't playing, man. They trying, they trying to get right too, man. They definitely trying to get right. But yeah, man, I'm proud, man. The first round, at first it was a little shaky, but I'm proud the way how the first round ended, especially for... My Philadelphia Eagles, man. So please like, subscribe to the channel. Please comment down below. You already know, man. It's your boy, Hype Fan Eagles, representing the Philadelphia Eagles by way of New Jersey. You dead? I'm out of here.